How about that quote from Pema Chodron? Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. Today, I want to spend some time unpacking a quote that I often hear in yoga classes and splash across social media. Every time I hear it, it seems to make me bristle. Short sound bites taken out of context are often that way for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you ever get upset by quotes taken out of context. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name's Melissa. I've been a serious student of the lineage of Chogyam Trumpa Rinpoche since summer of 2017. I have a teacher here in Victoria, Neil McKinley, who's a senior teacher of Dharma Ocean. I work closely with him, attending weekly Dharma talks and meditation with him. I have taken several courses and taken both refuge vows and bodhisattva vows with Dharma Ocean. All this to say I have some understanding as a student of Buddhism and the lineage of Togyam Trampa Rinpoche of which Pema Chodron is a part. So after recently hearing this sound bite in a yin yoga class, I thought, you know what? I am going to do some detective work and look at the context of this quote. It just doesn't seem to be something that Pema Chodron would say to me. One of my favorite books of hers is Start Where You Are. I have it kind of on permanent rotation as I'm a student of the Lojong. They're a set of 59 slogans in Tibetan Buddhism used for mind training to open our hearts and awaken our minds. This is a book about Lojong and I return to it again and again and so I have an ear for Pema Chodron. <laughs> so I guess I should talk about what bothers me about this quote out of context. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches you what you need to know. To me, it's antithetical to Tibetan Buddhism in general, in that we're training to open to everything, our thoughts, our emotions, situations, and people. We're not training and pushing things away. Secondly, it feels like it lacks compassion. To the person that's been diagnosed with terminal illness, this quote on its own is actually quite cruel. The terminal illness is never going away, even if they learn all of the lessons in the world from it. So first thing I did was look at what book this quote was from. The quote comes from her book, When Things Fall Apart, Heart Advice for Difficult Times. Even the title gave me some space around the quote, Heart Advice. I actually did not have to go very far into the book to find the compassion that I felt was missing from the sound bite. At the very opening of the book, Pim and Children talked about how the overarching theme of her book was the need for awakening a fearless compassion towards our own pain and the pain of others. On page two, there was a quote I had highlighted saying, please do not think meditation is a vacation from irritation. As I read on, there were more and more. Buddha nature kicks our ass into being receptive, stop running away, move closer, and that was just chapter one. So, but for the sake of keeping this video short, I will move right to the context of the quote, which comes from chapter 11, non-aggression and the Maras. Halfway through the book, Maras are obstacles. They're inner obstacles and outer obstacles. Leading up to the quote, Pema Chodron is talking about our inner obstacles. Specifically, she's talking about our own inner confusion. Right before the quote, she says, perhaps there is no obstacle except our need to keep ourselves from being touched. The rest of the quote says, nothing ever really attacks us except our own confusion. Perhaps there is no solid obstacle except our own need to protect ourselves from being touched. If we run a hundred miles an hour to the other end of the continent in order to get away from the obstacle, we find the very same problem waiting for us when we arrive. It just keeps returning with new names, forms, manifestations until we learn whatever it has to teach us about where we are separating ourselves from reality, how we are pulling back instead of opening up, closing down instead of allowing ourselves to experience fully whatever we encounter without hesitating or retreating into ourselves. She then goes on to tell a story of having an experience with her teacher, Chogyam Trampa, who asks her and other students to look at how they react when things are unbearable. My teacher has asked me this question too. It's a beautiful contemplation and inquiry into how we can turn towards ourselves with compassion or away from ourselves with aggression. The quote, in other words, is not about the thing going away. 
At another point in the book, Pema Chodron talks about how things come together and fall apart. It's about opening to ourselves with compassion. It's about noticing with kindness when we're shutting down and when we are opening. It's about our softening when things get tough, not about toughening up and trying to gain some ground so that we can move on. It's about opening to what is to be human and to be generous and kind with ourselves, not to be critical of ourselves because this thing is showing up again and I still haven't learned the damn lesson. So that's all. <laughs> Let me know if you like this style of video and put I'm being kind and compassionate with myself in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in more little Dharma talks like this. Namaste. Thank you, the Thanks to the peacocks for the extra background noise too <laughs> and the airplanes. <laughs>